Leanne Pace has been a winner on the LPGA Tour. She's a nine-time winner on the European uh, Women's Tour. She's a woman who has been the best golfer, golfer of the year in the European Tour twice. <laughs> and I know that a lot of you don't even know her. Here she is, Leanne Pace. Welcome to Sport at 10. How are you? Good, thanks. Thanks for Did having me. Did I get me. the intro okay? You did really well. I actually forgot all of that, but thanks. I feel really good now about no, myself. Too. Top golfer, <laughs> you know, and golf is my secret passion. But what brings you into the country? Because usually you've got to, if you're going to see Leanne Pace, you've got to be somewhere in the world. You've got to be in Europe. You've got to be in the States. What brings you home? Well, first of all, uh, we've got the Lady Sunshine Tour now in South Africa, and I, I love playing in South Africa. And um, uh, Investec Property is sponsoring the SA Women's Open soon, so I'm preparing for that and also going away on, on Saturday to Australia. So it's just getting a bit of a warm-up, and it's always great to play at home. No pressure, though, because your sponsor is also the sponsor of the tournament <laughs> that you've won three times already. No pressure. So, no pressure. We've just got to go there and win it, right? There's no one's a, ever won it uh, four times. Uh, is it going to be that for you this time, the SA Open? Oh, no, I was so disappointed last year. I really wanted to win it last year for four, four times in a row. But, uh, yeah, I wasn't an investor uh, sponsored player last year, but I hope to change it this year. I'm definitely going to be more ready this year. So how does golf start? Where does this passion? Where it's, it's like a sport that's so hard to master and then do every day. And then even when you're doing it every day, <laughs> it doesn't come right. How do you eventually take me through that journey to becoming one of the best golfers on the planet? I actually started a bit late um, playing. I started when I was 18. I actually wanted to be a doctor, um, but uh, I started playing golf and I was, I was pretty good at it from the start. I played hockey, swimming, tennis, so I was, I was quite sporty. Mm -hmm. um, managed to get a scholarship in America, I studied there. A long story short, turned pro and uh, yeah, here I am. But it's a lot of practice. Uh, you know, they always say it takes 10,000 hours to get to where you want to be. And I, believe I have hit 10,000 hours of balls. <laughs> so it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. We, we see the world and um, we meet a lot of cool people around the world. So yeah, it's a great, great sport. And what's it like on the women's tour? Because I mean, the Tigers and the Jordan Speaks <laughs> and the, I mean, Tiger made a billion dollars playing golf. You've won tournaments. Is it something that you can make a living on? Is it, is it good money on the women's tour? Oh yeah, 100%. Um, like, if what's the biggest purse? Let me, let me put it there, because I want to ask what's in your bank. But like, what's, <laughs> the, what's the biggest <laughs> purse that women's golf plays for? We play, the US Open now is $5 million, uh, I believe. Oh! At the, <laughs> this is not so bad. So, like, 60 million rand is what right. the women golfers more, are playing for. Yeah. And the winner takes? Uh, the winner is, I think this year, the winner is taking about a million home. Dollars. Dollars, yeah. Why? So it's not bad. We've got a couple over three to four million. Most of our tournaments uh, are two million dollars. And then we've got uh, a couple of events at the end of the year that's top 60, all two million. And I think there's a six million at the end of the year, top 60 as well. So no what? cut. So yeah, you can make a living. <laughs> what is that even like? Like standing over on the last hole, like a Three hundred thousand dollar putt. You <laughs> definitely like, do not think this. about like, that. What is that like? <laughs> yeah, you honestly, you don't think about it in the moment. You've prepared so many years for that moment. Uh, golf isn't only physical training; it's mental training as well. So while you're training yourself uh, on the range or the putting green, you're literally trying to put yourself in that position. Obviously, it comes with a little bit of uh, experience. I mean, a lot of people mess up in the first couple of times, but uh -huh. you know, once you get through it, uh, you just literally get used to it. You're not thinking this is that new car, I just need to make this, this is that new <laughs> car, don't miss it, the car, the car I've already got in my mind. You no, just focused on the golf. it's the, the house, the house. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're like so calm here, right? Like I'm looking at you, you're the calmest person ever. But I want to just talk about when you lost your cool, because I didn't understand this situation. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that this was going to come up. <laughs> like I, I didn't understand. Like, uh, Leanne got disqualified <laughs> no, no. From, a, from a tournament. Leanne and I'm disqualified like, herself. There's, okay, there's a like, difference. <laughs> okay, which is why I want you to tell the story. So, uh, what happens? Because the rule I didn't oh, know. And I just play had a lot to go of golf. There, didn't I didn't you? know the rule. The rule fascinates me. Uh, right. <laughs> My blushing, I should be. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I've had a couple of tough years golf wise. I haven't performed as well as what I should have, obviously. I haven't won in a couple of years. And I, I got. Uh, I got really uh, frustrated in my personal life and it just happened to come out on the golf course and <laughs> I hit it in the hazard and I tried to hit it out of the so, hazard. 
The nonsense the shot ball. goes nowhere. The, the shot is terrible. <laughs> and then you take the golf club? No, wait. <laughs> so I try to hit it other as it. And there's a, there's a stake, but it looks like a piece of wood. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking, okay, the club's obviously not going to get damaged on wood. It's, you know, iron and wood, and it's not wood. It was a piece of iron. So, so I hit it, ding, but I look at the club and it, it's fine. I'm still seeing red at this point in time. And I hit over, I hit the shots again, but with the same club. But now I'm not aware that the club is actually a little bent at the bottom. So I use the club now with, so the, the club changed, basically. You can't change your club in a round. The but fact I, that it's now bent is against the rules. changed the club. Even yeah. though it was an accident. It was not an accident. <laughs> it was not a Oh, anger. so it was a losing the temper. Because the way you told the story now, I was like, well, I kind of hit. You, and then, then it was like, twing, 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 no, twing. It was once. It was once. <laughs> so, the way you told it wasn't a twing. Once. Twing. It was once. So anyway. Because the, the rule says that uh, you can, the club can be damaged in the order of normal play, but it when does, it's, uh, uh, it then it's does, a problem. It was more like a, uh, uh, Club breaks, Gosh, then, but the best, part, the best part about you is that you actually went and impeamed yourself. You went there and, I did, yeah, and went I to, the, to the golf police and said, <laughs> <laughs> I broke my club. I did. Well, I wasn't broken. <laughs> it was just slightly, slightly. It was like that. Damaged. It was damaged. And I didn't see it. And I saw it afterwards and I went to the golf police <laughs> and said, the club is bent. I need to disqualify myself. Yeah. So, and that's like, like, uh, you're not South African. Who does that? <laughs> <laughs> South Africa, we hear. We, we, we look at the. How can you do we this? Look to at me? The, I'm the never shop, coming I'm back to use it again. <laughs> <laughs> you go, ah, uh, Lien. No, we need to. Too much time in Thanks, Europe. Caroline. Too much time in Europe. Thank you for coming home so we can just sort uh, of put you back in. But my poor mother, you know, she's watching <laughs> this show. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the plan for the next year? Uh, so, right now we've got a tournament in Irene, the Canon, I think it's, I'm not sure the entire name, but Canon mm -hmm. Ladies Open. Mm -hmm. um, then I'm going to Australia for two weeks, playing on the LPGA. Um, coming back, my sister's having her first baby, Cara mm -hmm. Kroch, so we're very excited about that. Uh, so, I'm taking two weeks off just to spend with my family around that time. And then playing in Cape Town in the Investec Property SA Women's Open. So, very excited about that. All right. Leanne Pace, thank you for being with us. <laughs> Thanks for um, sharing that story. Really? And <laughs> you are not welcome. So glad that you didn't lose your temper with me. You're not welcome <laughs> at all. <laughs> so happy with I'm that. Because we don't have a rule for me being injured in the conversation. <laughs> Please so. don't call me again. <laughs> Ah, oh, lovely, Ed. what a great golfer and a true asset to uh, South African uh, golf and really flying the flag for us so high in Europe and in the USA. And